In tonight's Health Edge, it could spell out a big change in the way doctors handle patients with hypertension. A new study just released today answering a question cardiologists have battled over for decades now. How low should your blood pressure really go? Chief Health Editor Dr. Parthenandi joins us now with the answer. Yeah, it's important. You know, now uh, people are actually saying that there's proof. So doctors like myself and especially cardiologists have been saying, listen, you know what, we need to make your blood pressure lower. And people have been hesitant, is it, is it too low, am I going to pass out, et cetera. Now the studies are showing that if you actually get your blood pressure below 120, that's the top number, systolic, for everybody, and then for people over 60, get it below 150, that makes a huge difference. And guess what? Strokes and heart attacks, the big, big things. And, and so many people in our country have hypertension, and it's one of the leading causes of death. And so if you can reduce the, the problems that you can have with that, it's a huge improvement. Now, doctor, there is such a thing as too low. I know I've been steadily low over the last few years, and there's some things my doctor suggested. It's, it's not always a good thing to be low. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that, you know, you have to see what's normal, especially for, for young ladies like yourself. You may have a low blood pressure. The, the bottom number can actually be, for example, 90, and you'll still be okay. The key is that you have symptoms. If you get dizzy, if you, mm. if you, you, know, you, you can't think clearly, clearly it's a problem. But if you're, if you're just looking at the number, it's not that important because people can live with that pressure. But the key for this study is that, listen, you know what, you can actually go low. People are afraid, am I going to pass out? Is it going to get enough blood to the brain or the kidneys? Now that's still being worked out. There's some, some, some stuff that needs to be worked out. But overall, why do we treat high blood pressure? Why do I treat high blood pressure? I have it. Is that I want to prevent having a heart attack or a stroke. And that's huge that you can show now that there's evidence that it makes a difference. And organ failure as well. Oh, so Dr. Nandy, let's talk about another topic before yeah. we run out of town. What out of time? What about motion sickness? Yeah, there's, a, there's a cure for motion sickness. We're talking about Cedar Point and everything oh else these boy. days. I mean, I go to those rides and I spin yeah, around. My kids rides. love it and I'm like, right. Whoa, you know, I'm, I'm getting old. But, uh, but the thing is that here's what happens. Your body gets tricked by your senses. Your ears and your brain think that there's something that's going on and that causes this motion sickness. Well, guess what? They found out that you can zap it with electrical current to, to take that confusion away and decrease motion sickness. So instead of taking pills or avoiding these places, you can actually zap it with some with a shock electrical current and they're looking into it. You can for do it yourself or you have to go to your doctor? I think you have to go to a doctor or a facility. They're still working it out. I got but you. but you know the idea is that Take that confusion away, and then you can you can like these rides, and also not get you know not get sick and and have that feeling could be debilitating. So I'll tell you, you learn a lot of stuff here in WXYZ. Don't you? <laughs> yes, can that do. help you outside of Cedar Point? I mean, uh, absolutely, because okay. there's some people who, who are dizzy all the time, okay. you know, and they have motion sickness, and, they, and and it stops their activity. So especially for them, you know, we're 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 getting it on a little bit, but it can really be a big problem. All right, thank you so much, thank Dr. you, Nandy. Have a good weekend. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter, we'll get it to them.